Hello again and welcome back to Skyrim. Thank you for joining me again. We are in the Forsaken Cave. We're here because we're looking for a white file for uh, a dude back in Windhelm. This old guy, he, he just wants me to find the white file for him. Norelian, this guy that works at the alchemy shop back in Windhelm. And of course, you know, um, we're nice. We volunteered to do it for him because he's old and he can't do it himself. So that's why. We're walking around the Forsaken Cave. What are you doing rushing ahead like that, Lydia? That was weird. Uh, so far, we've come across some ice wraiths. I think that's what we've seen in here so far. Don't know what else we're going to come, ac come across here, but it's kind of fun exploring this place. It's kind of neat. Neat looking caves. I don't know if Lydia can make it down those stairs. He, she can. Good job, Lydia. Wow. Need to give her more credit. Oh man, somebody made a mess here. Why don't you just clean up after clean up after yourselves? This is a mess. What are we gonna see in here? What's down there? Hmm, I don't know what that is. Not sure what we're looking at here. Bunch of junk here. What's the map look like now? I'm curious. Okay. Interesting. Hmm. Let's keep moving forward here. See if there's any traps or anything. A little concerned about traps. Don't want to get my head blown off by a trap. That could very well be a trap right there. As a matter of fact, I bet it is. If you step on it, Lydia, don't you step on that. She's going to step on it, isn't she? Oh, hey, how's it going? A restless draugr. Doesn't stand a chance. What was that? Not sure what that explosion was there. Huh, I don't know, man. I'm not too concerned about it. Let's search this chest, see what's inside of it. Gold. Uh, a filled lesser soul gem. That's kind of cool. Lockpicks and a potion. All very exciting. Traps in here. Could be. Hey, how's it going, man? Hey. Oh, what the heck? I'm trying to use my shout. Do I not have any map anything mapped to my shout key? No, I don't. Interesting. Hmm. No, I do. Fire breath. Well, I thought I tried to use fire breath, but uh, it didn't work. Not sure why. Just kind of ignored me sure what happened there. I'm not too pleased about it, though, I'll tell you that. Could have been life or death, man. I mean, luckily that was just dumb old Draugr, nothing too much to worry about, but what if that was a real strong enemy there? I tried to use my shout and it didn't work. Want my money back. Do a little bit more sneaking here. Let's see what else there is to see. Hey, dude, how's it going, man? Hey, I'm going to try to use my shout again. No! There we go, that time it worked. <laughs> Boy, did it work. Somebody else is coming. Oh, he's got a bow. What the heck, man? Don't worry, Lydia. I got it. Oh, man. He went flying. <laughs> That's so much fun. It is fun when your enemies go flying. Don't think I want any of this stuff. Ancient Nord boots. Ancient Nord helmet. It's kind of interesting, but I don't want it. Keep going forward here. What's our map look like now? Oh, walking down these hallways here. Interesting. What do you got on you? Anything good? Yes, eh, two gold pieces. I'll take them. Gotta search every burial urn, man. You gotta search them. I mean, come on. This Draugr, he's got some arrows on him. Bone meal, gold. Petty soul gem. An iron ingot just lying on the ground there. Hmm, okay, I'll take that. Sure, why not? Another iron ingot. Oh, hey, how's it going? No! He's like, hey, who's taking my iron ingots? The mirror. <laughs> no way. <laughs> That's so funny. I stole that book from uh, um, Ulfric's bedchamber. 
And then I just find one lying on the ground here. I didn't have to steal it after all. It's funny stuff. Another iron ingot. That's interesting. I wonder why there's so many of those lying around in here. I wonder how that happened. Take all of that stuff. So this actually continues on in that direction, it looks like. Oh, what? Oh! What is causing that explosion? Is that her sword that's doing that, maybe? I'm not sure. Hmm. Something with, um... The, uh... Right behind you. What's that sword that she's got called? Dawnbreaker or something? Your burdens. Dawnbreaker. Burns for 12 points. And when killing undead, a chance to cause a fiery explosion that turns or destroys nearby undead. Okay, that's what's going on there. Let's get going then. Pretty interesting. Okay, before we go that way, let's go back here and check this out, I think. This is taking us here. Oh, let's unlock this, I guess. Oh. I have amassed quite a collection of uh, lockpicks in my travels, though, I will say. I've got 99 plus lockpicks. Oh, man. Oh, come on now. Come on now. Don't be like that. Just let me in. There we go. Whoa, golly, what are you doing, Lydia? <laughs> she just goes barging in there, pushing me out of the way. I'm not sure I like your at your attitude, Lydia. What's gotten into you? Like Scooby-Doo running in here. You got some pretty good stuff in there, though. That's kind of exciting. Looks like this used to be stairs. It's all caved in, maybe. Another iron ingot, man. We don't want to miss those. Those are great, man. Iron ingots? Yeah. That's cool. Take that stuff. Yes, please. Alright, let's, uh, ooh. Oh, huh. It's a shield lying on the ground. Oh, another iron ingot. But that shield was a pressure plate for a trap. Yeah, it's like breadcrumbs, but they're iron ingots. What happened, Draugr? Listen to this piece of music that's playing. It's kind of hard to hear, I know, but... What I am able to hear of it, I really like. Got some real feeling to it. It's kind of fading away now, though. Hey, what's up, Draugr? I've been detected. Are you alive? I don't trust you. I didn't think you were really dead. You're not fooling anybody, pal. Nice try, though. I don't... Okay, there we go. I do get to s search him. I think we woke somebody else up. Hey, you. Stay asleep. Hey, take care of him, will you? Gold. Poison. This is a, a white. He's um, a little bit, I guess maybe a little bit more of a challenge, maybe. Not much, though. Oops. Conjurer's Potion. Now we've got some gold ingots over here. Heck yeah, man. This place is great. I've somehow resisted taking that embalming tool. Look at this, some gold ingots in there. Oh, Lydia, right there by your foot, a gold ingot. Look at that. This is all very exciting. I had no idea what I was getting into here. This is wonderful. I love it. Oh, you're not fooling anybody, dude. Like, like, takes his time getting up. He's like, all right, hold on, I'll fight you. 
Hold on. Lydia looks scared. She looked scared. She was shaking. She was shaking in her boots. Nah, Lydia wasn't scared. Who am I kidding? Lydia ain't scared of nothing. Got some more ingots here. Get your ingots here. Yeah, good. Hey, dude. What's up, man? What are you doing over there? <laughs> What's up, man? Ooh, a trap. <gasps> Oh, something. Huh. Oh, I stepped in fire here. Okay. Ouchies. Oh, gosh. I'm a flame. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, my. Is that just going to do that forever now? I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of that. No, sir, I'm not. It's okay if that stops. Lydia, can you put a stop to that, please? What happened? I mean, did, um... Somebody standing on the pressure plate? I'm not sure why that's uh, now the eternal flame. Well, that's okay, we'll just avoid it. Try to anyway. Thankfully Lydia's not standing in it. There's another one there. There's another one there that we saw the Draugr stand on. Speaking of Draugr... Another one over here we're going to take care of real quick. Okay. Can I loot you, dude? Yeah. Ooh, a garnet. Man, you don't want to miss out on that. Mm -mm. Don't step on that, Lydia. Lydia, what did I just say? <laughs> Lydia, get off of it. <laughs> it's just funny to watch her health go down. <laughs> take the gold. Heard movement back here, I think. Oh man, I'm not seeing any more ingots on the ground though. I'm sad. Where are we on our map? Well, we've snaked around here. And we're getting pretty close to probably the next phase of this dungeon. I have a feeling Lydia's gonna stand on that. I'm gonna get down here and get out of the way. She did stand on it. <laughs> oh, she's almost dead, look. <laughs> that almost killed her, man. That almost killed her dead. Oh, look at all these silver ingots. Oh, that's fantastic. It's like a dream come true. Ooh, a potion? This is fun. This forsaken cave. It's a magical place. Another potion. Yeah, this is great. What else are we gonna find in here? Potion, potion. I really didn't think I was gonna find all that much stuff in here. Certainly didn't think I was gonna see all these silver ingots. We're gonna be over encumbered here pretty soon. We're gonna give some stuff to Lydia for her to carry. Well, now we're going into Forsaken Crypt, so we have probably quite a bit of work remaining to do. If we look at the map, we'll see that, uh, oh my, yeah, <laughs> we got a bit of a trek to get to where we're going to retrieve this white file. We got a, quite a bit of work to do. Urns to search, you know, droggers to kill. Yeah, we're very close to being over encumbered. Oh, hey. This is a just a regular old Draugr. What's up, buddy? Oh! Uh, take care of him. Put your sword away. Get back into sneaky sneak mode. Bunch of burned books. Iron ingot. Iron ingot. Search the burial urn. Get us some gold out of it. Search the burial urn. Get us some gold out of it. Take a potion of plentiful magicka. Take the bowl. Empty it out. <laughs> in case it has ingots in it. It can happen. 
And now I'm carrying too much. Hey, Lydia, can you carry some of this stuff for me? Take these ingots from Still me, man. Here. I mean, I'm carrying a lot of stuff. I am sworn to carry your burdens. You are so lucky. You get to carry my burdens. Um, let's see here. What can I give her? I mean, I'm not using nettle bane anymore. Oh, I can't. I can't use it. I can't give it to her. Well, in that case, um, let's give her. I mean, I could give her these gold ingots. I could give her 32 freaking iron ingots. That'll free up some space. Let's get going then. Let's get going. Come on, Lydia, let's go. I don't know what you're waiting for. Nothing in that. You gotta check, man. You don't want to leave ingots behind. Oh no. Hmm. An ancient Nord greatsword is not really worth all that much. I'm not gonna waste my time with it. Oh boy. So we got a path here. Takes us back this way. Oh, there's paths all over this freaking place, man. Huh. We got a dais here. We got a dead draugr here. What do you got? Take your gold. You're not going to be using it. Why do draugrs collect gold? Scaled boots. Those are kind of neat. They're worth quite a bit. Okay, so there are paths up there, but I don't see any way to get up there from here, so I guess we're going to have to go this way and then we'll eventually end up up there. We got here another urn. People just like to leave gold in urns. I don't I don't know what the thought thought process is behind it, but I'm um, glad they do it. Hope you're you're digging this music, man. This is good stuff. Hear this guy walking around. Oh, restless drugger is a little stronger than a normal drugger. Just a little bit though, not much. Sneaky sneak. What do we got over here? Uh, hide helmet, skull, ancient Nord boots, and some burned books. <laughs> she does not take her eye off of us, man. Earn. I make my gold the old fashioned way. I earn it. Oh, look at that. Man. Please do not bury me in one of those little cubby holes. Too claustrophobic for that. Okay, let's keep moving here. Not sure what we're going to find around the next corner. I'm sad I'm not finding any more ingots. I want to add to my collection of 32 iron ingots, doggone it. Okay. Now we're up top. What was that? Oh, this guy's call crawling out of a crypt. Check him out, man. Restless Draugr over there. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Yo! Man, she almost stepped right in front of me as I cast that. Ooh, he's a... Oh, look at this guy. Neat. <laughs> yeah, is that your best? Huh? Lydia's getting into it now. Yeah. What do we got going on up here? That was cool. He was shooting... Freezy stuff at us. I didn't know that Draugrs could do that. Empty Petty Soul Gem. Potion of Extended Invisibility. Another 
potion. Uh, ingots, now we're talking. Yeah. Let's keep moving, man. This is, uh, this is one heck of a place we're in. There's all kinds of stuff in here. This is great. Wow, there's even another level up there. Look at that. Yeah, very cool. We'll probably go this way, and then go up, and then come back this way. And that'll probably take us back that way. That's what I'm guessing. I think it's a pretty good guess. Oh, look at this guy. This guy means business. Restless drugger. He just laughed. Did you hear that? What are you laughing at? Get out of the way so I could kill your friend. Hmm, interesting. What's your story, guys? Why are you here? What are you guarding? Whoops, I did not mean to take that battle axe. Oh well. What is going on? Oh, look at that. Don't step on that, Lydia. Don't don't step on that. Okay? Promise? You won't step on that? Because it'll probably kill you. And I don't want you dead. Whoops, I did not mean to do that. I don't want you dead, Lydia. I care about you. I know sometimes I give you a hard time, but really, you're very important to me. She's doing a good... Whoa. What's going on here? Oh, expert. Hmm. Expert, huh? Lydia, bring that torch over here, will you? Expert. Okay, we've already made some progress. <laughs> Expert Schmexpert. That was a piece of cake. Common soul gem empty. Draft of pickpocketing, gold, and potion of magicka. Yes, indeed. No, 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 no. Okay, Lydia. Maybe you're not heavy enough to, to trip it. Maybe she's not, you know? Maybe, uh... Maybe you need to step in the center of it. I don't know. I like how they built the safety railing here. Safety first here in the crypt. It's important, don't you know? Hey! Hey! Process. What did he say? I'm not sure what he said. I didn't quite catch it. And the words disappeared too quickly for me to read them. Interesting. Oh, 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 wait, hold on. I don't have my shout ready. Hold on, dude. Dude, no, 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 not yet. I, I'm not, oh. Oh, it's not ready yet. Look at his face. Oh, he's not speaking English. He's speaking a different language. No wonder I didn't understand him. How exciting. Look at this guy's face. Yeah. It's kind of handsome in a way. But more scary than handsome. What do you think, Lydia? This is kind of cool. Whoa. Up, 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 up. What's up, drogs? Oh, 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 Lydia. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, interesting. Oh, okay. I thought there was a chimney there or something. Look. What? What? Huh? Who the? What? Dude, show yourself. I want to search these urns in peace. He's probably not too happy. He's like, hey, that's my gold. Those were, that was my ruby. Well, dude, it's mine now. <laughs> Hey! Restless Drogger! Finish him off, Lydia. Finish him off. This one's yours. Yeah, good job. She was bashing him with her shield. That's cool, man. Don't hurt yourself, though, Lydia, okay? You, you be careful. I don't want you to hurt yourself. Save your strength for the for the real enemies. Whatever's gonna be at the end of this place. And, um, we're not quite there yet. We still have a little ways to go. Yeah, flawless amethyst. Yes, please. It's on the other side of this door here. Oh. Look at this business. 
I don't like this. I don't like this at all. My timing on oh, these things are usually terrible, and I have a hard time gauging like exactly where they are. You know, like this one is in the doorway, it would seem. Oh boy, here we go. Here comes trouble. Oh, there's a dragon word over there. Cool. We've probably got a bit of a fight on our hands here. Oh, it's Kuramil. This is the guy who uh, was protecting the, uh, the file. Pick on him. Oh, I'm out of uh, fun stuff here. Draugr should be able to... Whoa, no, 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 no. What are you doing? Nice. That was weird. I, I stepped up to take on that Draugr, and then it's like my character just walked right past the Draugr, and I took a hack at Lydia. I see you guys over here. What are you doing? Nice. Let's search these Draugrs. Take their gold. That's what we do when we kill a Draugr. Yeah. Good job, Lydia. I'm sorry I accidentally hit you. She's mad at me. All right, Lydia. I'm sorry. Okay, I am. I'm sorry. I don't know what happened there. I meant to, I meant to hit the Draugr, but for reasons unknown, I stepped around the Draugr and hit you instead. So Curamil, right? Um, this uh, Norellian guy back in Windhelm told us that uh, the White File was buried with this Curamil guy. He's the guy who. Uh, who created it. He made the, the white file. Um, now, apparently, this Curamil guy was crafty, and you need the skills of a master alchemist to reach the file's resting place. But luckily for us, Neurelian uh, made the mixture and gave it to us. And we have it in our inventory here. I'm not sure when I'm supposed to use it. Probably right about now, maybe. Uh, we'll see how this goes. But it's called... Um, where is it? Hmm, interesting. I, I saw it in my inventory before. Where did it go? Norellian's mixture right here. It's, it's a miscellaneous. Not really sure what I'm going to do with it or when. But this guy's got the ancient Nord Greatsword of Frost, which is kind of cool, I guess. We'll go ahead and pick it up, even though it's not really worth all that much. But uh, we'll take it anyway. What? Go over here to Lydia. Lydia, please carry right my burdens, you. please. I am sworn to carry. Okay, your Lydia. Burdens. Um, I want you to also take. Um. These silver ingots that'll lighten my load by ten. I still need to do more though. Um, let's see. Also take uh, these oracalcum ingots from me. I've got a bunch of those. All right, thank you so much, Lydia. Let's you're, get going, then. you're so helpful. She's the best. She really is. I, I, I won't hear no bad-mouthing Lydia. <laughs> I will delete your comment if you bad-mouth Lydia. No, I'm just kidding. Let's learn something. I was not expecting this. Word of power learned. Kill marked for death. It's also very exciting. Did you see that, Lydia? What'd you think? It's pretty cool, right? Yeah. If we look at our uh, magic and we look at our shouts, we will see marked for death speak and let your voice herald doom as an opponent's armor and life force are weakened. Let's use one of our, one of our dragon souls, why not? I've got two of them sitting here. Yeah! This is all very exciting. Search the chest and get a circlet and some armor and some gold and a dagger that I don't care about. Necklace and a staff. Yes. Yes. It's lovely. It's all coming together. All right, Lydia. We're going to go this way now. Hmm, interesting. What's going on in here? Activate ancient bowl. Well, we probably are going to pour this mixture in here. And it's probably going to open a door there. 
Norellian's mixture removed. There we go. Yes. Thank you, Norellian. Thank you. Through we go. Oh, there's stuff in here. Chorus eggs. I didn't want the bowl. Whatever. Fear poison. Stamina. Ectoplasm? Okay, I guess. Guess I'm taking this uh, death bell because I don't see it very often, so I might as well take it while I see it. Orange dart wing? Sure, sure, sure. Lingering magical potion? Yeah. Lydia, I'm really sorry to ask you this, but I'm going to need you to carry some more stuff for me here in a bit. Apothecary satchel. Cyrodelic spade tail. There's some interesting stuff in there. Human flesh was one of the ingredients. I don't know if you saw that. Lydia, Lydia, I need you to carry more stuff for me. I'm right behind you. Lydia, please. How can I serve you, my friend? Please thing? carry more stuff. I hope you can carry more stuff for me because I am very, very overweighted here. That's weird. What? Hmm. Um. What am I wearing? Lead on. Okay, I'm wearing my steel. A little confused because normally when I search, when I show all and I sort by weight, maybe I wasn't scrolled all the way up or something. Maybe that was it. Normally when I search, sort by weight, yeah, my steel plate shows up first. So maybe I wasn't scrolled all the way to the top. I've got your back. Okay, here. I am sworn to carry your burdens. Yes, you are. Don't you forget it. Huh. That's weird. Why is my armor not here? Oh, maybe I can't give it to her. Maybe she is full. Maybe that's what's going on. That's interesting. Can I give her this? Yeah. Look at this. That's interesting. Okay. There. Now she's full. We're both full. And unfortunately, there's still more things in here. Uh, Lydia, I want you to also grab this book, uh, A Game at Dinner. This sounds like a good book. Yes, my thing? Get that. Okay, got it. Pick that up for me. Okay, thank you, Lydia. That's not what I wanted to do. Anything else? Uh, oh, we found ourselves um, an alchemy lab in here. Grand, oh, a grand, giant lichen. Oh my gosh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to carry all this stuff. Fire salts, potent poison, frost salts, ectoplasm, torch bug, thoraxes. Look at all this cool stuff. The sounds these things make when you pick them up, it's fantastic. So far, so good. Now, <laughs> I need enough room in my inventory for this file. Oh, good. It's only um, half, a, half a unit of weight. This is the cracked white file. This is what we fought our way here for. Okay. Now we need to bring the file back to Norellian. We've got it. And uh, if we look at all, we will see cracked white file. That's it, man. That's it. Now we got to get out of here. Um, most of the time there's a shortcut to get out of these places, but um, I don't see one. So it's almost as if... Nope, there is a shortcut here. Okay. I was going to say, it's almost as if we're going to have to walk all the way back out of here, but no, the game's not going to make us do this. Can I activate this again? No. Okay. Just curious. You know how it is. <laughs> um, okay, we go this way. That's right. We saw these dudes. Yeah, cool. Look at this. Very simple, very easy. Open the Forsaken Cave. It's weird though. This is the Forsaken Cave that we're in. We're not out yet. I guess we need to pull this lever. Open this door. So we get the heck out of here, huh? Oh 
man, more stuff. Good, that one's empty. Okay, and here we go. This is where we entered the place. Yeah, buddy. Um, is this the way we came in? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we go out this way. All right, back out to Skyrim we go. Okay, cool. Whew, all right. Excellent. Well, beautiful day out here, it looks like. Maybe a bit on the cold side, but uh, nothing we can't handle. So now, now we need to uh, bring this thing back to um, Norelian. I don't know if there's any text to here. Yeah, no, just bring it back to him. So that's what we're going to do. We are going to uh, make this trek back. And, um, you know, hmm, hmm, what are these guys up to? What are they doing? What are you guys doing? Is he talking? Is he dancing? I think he's drinking. Hey guys, what's up? Hey, friend. Oh, hey. It's good to see another merry soul enjoying this fine day. It is a fine day, isn't it? Ah, but you look tired. Come. Share a bottle of hunting brew mead with me. Absolutely. Uh, hunting brew mead? You've never had a taste of sweet hunting brew? Why, it's only the finest mead outside of Sovngarde. Its sweetness is like a fair maiden's kiss on a starry night. And it's got enough kick to put a frost troll on his hind quarters. <laughs> 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 but enough talk. Come. Won't you share a drink with me and my companions? I would love to. I would love to share a drink with you, friend. Ah, nothing like fine spirits to help raise your... Well, your spirits. Yeah. Cheers, my friend. Cheers. May your adventures find you fame and fortune. Aw, thanks, man. Thank you. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, wait. Mm hmm? Talk to me. Hi. Hi. Yeah? Talk to me. <laughs> Look at his mouth. Yeah. All right. Thanks for the thanks for the drink, dude. <laughs> All right. Just some revelers out here partying in the frozen tundra outside of Windhelm. Look how pretty it is out here. I like it. I like this mod. I think this is the the weather mod that I like so much. I really like the way it looks out here. I mean, look how far away you could see. There's a saber cat running over there. Some kind of structure up there. This is all very cool. I need to stop picking stuff up. I'm already yeah, very close to being over encumbered. So let's just go. I don't need to be picking up plants and such. We just need to get on back to Windhelm. Turn this file to this guy. And then... Um, I'll spend some time taking care of inventory. Pick up the pace a little bit. Run back by the L mill here. Who's this guy? Ari's the boss. Talk to her if you want work. Okay. We did talk to her before. The only work she wanted done was some logs chopped. This is really neat. This bridge here right in front of this waterfall. That's pretty cool, man. I bet you it's pretty brisk right there. Got the wind blowing. And that cold water probably sp spraying on you a little bit. Going for a jog here. Very excited to get back to Windhelm and complete this task for this guy. I'm sure he's going to pay handsomely. It weren't no easy chore. Oh man, what happened there, buddy? What happened there, buddy? Who took you out like that, man? Oh, oh, <laughs> these wolves. I did that. 
I did the wolves, I know that. I guess the wolves took out that goat before I got to the wolves. I didn't notice. Alright, here we are. Back at good old Windhelm. Who's this? Who are you? Horses. All day long. Do you have any idea how dull horses <laughs> are? If the guards would listen to Viola, they'd have caught the butcher by now. The butcher? What are you talking about? I love my husband, <laughs> but he can be a bit... Dull. Like the horses? Ugh. I'll need to bathe thoroughly to get this stench off me. Why, she really hates horses. Good morning. Maybe she was talking about her husband. <laughs> Who's this guy? What's up, sir? I own Hollyfrost Farm outside the city. It's <laughs> honest work, if a bit dull. Hmm, that's somebody I'd like to introduce you to. Alright, let's go back in here, man. Okay, so this guy in this direction, and it looks like hopefully the Can't shop throw the big is going to be open, and I won't have to go sleep anywhere. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Could yes. Okay. Cool. Let's go in here and finish this. Let me know if you see anything you like. Hey, where's uh, where's Norelian? Where is he? I don't see him. My master can be a bit short-tempered, but I've learned so much from him. Yeah? I'll never have Master Norellian skill with potions. No. Well, what do you got for sale? So, you're interested in my potions and ingredients. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Do I have any potions I want to sell to him? Conjurer's potion. Let's sell him that. Uh, draft of destruction. I mean, I do use destruction spells, but I'll never remember to use that. Uh, pickpocketing. No, thank you. Fear poison? I mean, it might be fun, but whatever. Ice Wraith Essence. I don't need this. Sell those off. Uh, paralysis I definitely do want to keep, though. That's good stuff, man. Invisibility? Nah. Oh. Okay. Potion's worth quite a bit, huh? Stamina poison. There we go. We'll sell that off. Okay, that's pretty good. All right then. All right then. Where's your uh, where's your dude at? Hey man, how's it going? You okay? Alchemy is simple, unless of course you are simple. Then I can't help you. <laughs> Must you bother me now? I've almost figured out where it is. Dude, I've brought the file, but it's damaged. This. Uh... It matches every description of the file that I've found in lore. But if it can't hold liquid, there's no way of knowing. Mm. How did you manage to damage <laughs> it then? This is what I get for not retrieving it myself. Dude, I didn't damage it. It was like this when I found it. Figures. I doubt you have sufficient knowledge to harm the file. You're kind of a jerk, if you, you know that? To. Either way, this is the end of it. Now, if you'll excuse me, <laughs> I'm not quite in the mood to entertain guests. I trust you can show yourself out. Fine. Here's for your trouble. Better be a lot. <laughs> he gave me five gold. <laughs> you sob, you give me five gold. Well, for some reason, we're supposed to squ well, speak to him now. Thank you for your help. I know my master can be a bit short at times. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Uh, I was I was happy to help. Here, you should have this. Even though the file was damaged, I still think your efforts deserve reward. Yeah. Now, if you'll pardon me, I'm going to tend to Norelian. I can make his final days a bit less painful. Yeah, please do. He might be a jerk, but he shouldn't suffer. So go tend to him. Ooh, here's a book. The Black Arts on Trial. Well, it just so happens that it's time for me to end this episode. 
And uh, as you know, I do like to read me a book at the end of an episode. So um, let's read this one. That way I could read it without having to steal it. So we're going to read the... Oh. Lydia, get the heck out of my way. We're going to read The Black Arts on Trial. This one looks like it's going to teach us something. And indeed it has illusion increased. The Black Arts on Trial by Hannibal Traven, Archmagister of the Arcane... <laughs> Archmagister of the Arcane University, Imperial City. History. Necromancy, commonly called the Black Arts, has a history that dates back before recorded time. Virtually all the earliest laws of the land make mention of it as expressly forbidden on pain of death. Independent practitioners of the arts of sorcery, however, continued its study. The Psygic Order of the Isle of Arteum, precursor to our own Mages' Guild, also forbade its use, not only because it was dangerous, but their belief in the holy and unholy ancestor spirits made it heretical. Again, despite this, we hear many stories of students and masters who ignored this stricture. When Valus, or Venus Galarian left Arteum, he may have disagreed with the Psygics on much, but he also refused to allow necromancy to be taught in the guild. Almost 1100 years have passed since the time of Venus Galarian, and there have been many archmagisters to lead his guild. The question of necromancy has continued to be asked, the strictures against it in the guild have never been lifted, but attitudes about it have shifted back and forth over the years. Some archmagisters have been inclined to ignore it entirely, some have fought very actively against it, and still other archmagisters have been rumored to be necromancers themselves. In my new role as archmagister of the Mages Guild, it is my duty to set policy on this matter. Though I have my own opinions on the Black Arts, I took counsel with two of the most learned mages in the Empire, Magister Voth Carlos of Corinth and Magister Uliceta Grokog of Orisinium, and we debated for two days. What follows are summaries of the salient points of the debate, arguments and counter-arguments, which led to the resolution of the Mages' Guild on the subject of necromancy. Argument Argument by Master Grokog Necromancy is poorly understood. We will not make it disappear by ignoring it. As an intellectual institution dedicated to the study of the magical arts and sciences, we have obligations to the truth. Censoring ourselves and our scholarship is antithetical to our mission of neutrality and objectivity. Counter-argument by Master Carlos. The Mages' Guild must balance its quest for knowledge with responsible caution and ethical standards. It is not censoring a student's course of study to have him proceed cautiously and with purity of purpose. It is not limiting a student's freedom to set rules and boundaries. Indeed, it is essential. Argument by Master Carlos. Necromancy is an anathema throughout the civilized world. To embrace it publicly, the Mages' Guild would inspire fear and hostility in the populace at large. Vanus Galarian wanted this institution to be unlike the Psygic Order, which was elitist and separatist. We ignore public opinion at our own risk. We will certainly lose our charters in many places, including very likely the whole of Morrowind, where sentiment against necromancy is very strong. Counter-argument by... Ooh, there's some thunder out there. Counter-argument by Master Grokog. Yes, we should be sensitive to the concerns of the community, but they should not and must not dictate our scholarship. Necromancer to many uneducated persons simply means an evil mage. It is madness to limit our work because of prejudices and half-formed understanding. It is, it is an affront to the purpose of objective study to turn our back on a subject merely because of public opinion. Argument by Master Grokog Necromancers are the scourge of Tamriel. Whether operating independently or in concert with the Slodes or King of Worms, Mana Marco, they are responsible for many horrors, animated zombies and skeletons, and other forms of the undead. To best combat this menace, we must understand the powers of the necromancer, and we cannot do that by restricting our study of the black arts. Counter-argument by Master Carlos. No one is disputing the threat of the black arts. In fact, that is the very essence of my argument against the Mages' Guild making it a school to be taught in our to our initiates. We can, can and should know what our enemy is capable of, but we must be careful not to step into a trap of looking too deep into his ways and making those ways our own. 
We do no one any good if by studying the evil ways we become evil ourselves. Argument by Master Carlos. Necromancy is inherently dangerous. One cannot dabble in it. The simplest spell requires the spilling of blood and immediately begins to corrupt the caster's soul. This is not conjecture, but simple fact. It is irresponsible of the guild to teach and thereby encourage a sort of magical study which has proven itself time and time again to bring nothing but terror and misery on, a protect, on the practitioner and world. Counter-argument by Master Grokog. All schools of magicka are dangerous to the uninitiated. A simple fireball spell from the School of Destruction can cause great harm when cast by a novice, not only to others, but to the mage himself. The School of Mysticism, by its very nature, forces the practitioner to divorce his mind from logic, to embrace a temporary sort of insanity, which one might argue is very like corrupting one's soul. Argument by Master Grokog The Guild already permits some forms of necromancy. The schools of Magicka are, as we know, artificial constructs originally formulated by Vanus Galarian to divide and thereby simplify study. They have changed many times throughout the years, but at their heart, every master knows they are all linked together. When a student of conjuration summons a guardian ghost, he is touching on the school of necromancy. When a student of enchantment uses a trapped soul, he too may be considered guilty of a black art. The school of mysticism, as I have stated before, has some kinship with necromancy as well. To state that students may not learn the ways of necromancy is to stifle common skills in the other, more historically leg legitimate schools of the guild. Counter-argument by Master Carlos. Yes, the schools are intertwined, but the standard spells of each school have passed the proof of time. We know that a student of mysticism, properly instructed, will not be permanently harmed by his experience. Oops, sorry. In many ways, it is a question of extremes, how far we would permit our studies to take us. Necromancy by its nature relies on the practitioner going further into the darkness than is wise, virtually guaranteeing his destruction. It has no place in the Mage's Guild. Conclusion The risks of studying necromancy outweigh its usefulness. The Guild does not wish to censor the study of any of its members, but it will not tolerate studies in the Black Arts except in limited form for the purpose of combating its evil adherence. This may only be... <laughs> this may only been done. This may only be done by rare individuals who have proven themselves both highly skilled and highly cautious, and then only with my express permission and supervision. Afterward, I regret to acknowledge the truth behind the rumor that Master Ulasita Grokog was more than an apologist for necromancy. She was a necromancer herself. Upon this revelation, the Knights of the Lamp attempted to arrest her at the guildhouse on, in Orsinium, but she made good her escape. We have every confidence in the replacement magister in Orsinium. Though I disagreed, I respected her logical reasoning enough to include her arguments in this book, and I see no reason to remove them. It is disappointing, however, to see that her interest in the truth was nothing more than a euphemism for her slavery to the black arts. This unfortunate situation merely illustrates how essential it is for guild members to be wary of the lure of necromancy and be vigilant to its practitioner's infiltration in our mage's guild. Those are some good arguments there. We will just leave that book sitting right there. It no longer glows as we have now read it. Pretty exciting stuff. Uh, so I'm going to end this episode here, but before I start the next one, I will uh, run about town selling off all kinds of goodies and stuff because I am over encumbered. Lydia's over encumbered and I've got money to make. So I'll do all of that. And then the next episode will start off fresh and unencumbered and we'll, we'll decide what to do next. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, why don't you let me know? Maybe leave me a like or a comment. And if you're not a subscriber, why not subscribe and click the bell so you're notified whenever I post a video. Thank you all so much for watching. I sure hope you join me again in the next episode.